this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is my lab setup using my pulse system that I've been working on alongside with the Honda. And I'm going to show you some of the results that I've had. Hopefully you'll be as pleased as I am. The meter on the left is the voltage on the battery. And on the right is your amperage. If you look carefully, you're going to see that we're putting out a considerable amount of hydrogen here. I have essentially been running five projects at the same time. I have to turn this off because it's putting out so much hydrogen that it fills the room. I can't let it run very long. I'm going to set this on a couple of times so you can see it. And hopefully you'll believe that we're getting as close as I believe we're getting close here. As I was saying, I'm running about five projects at the same time, all t to do with this hydrogen. What you're seeing here is the second. That's the pole system to go with the Honda. And I have three other sections of this all running at the same time, which hopefully you'll or I'll have time to show you. Here's a good look at my scope. Unfortunately, this is a real, this is a Heathkit scope, and it's old. It cost me around $50, and uh, that is all I could afford to get. It is working pretty well. One of the problems I'm having right now in having to build into my pulse system is I've got to build a way to mark all the frequencies that I'm using. And that uh, has been proven to be hard. That's one of the reasons I haven't shown it. Is because I have to be able to get back to the same frequency. And without the proper equipment, that makes it pretty hard. Here we go again. As you can see, it is putting out a considerable amount of hydrogen. And you can see that's the miniature Aaron cell there in that huge tube of water. So by building that cell up, imagine what's going to be when I put in the 8-inch cell. That's the 3LR-8. That's on the hydrogentap.com site. You can see what that is. That's the cell that I am working with in the car. Instead of 6 inches long, it's 8 inches. But at least judging from this, you can see the miniature cell that's in there. There's only four plates, by the way. It's proven some interesting results. But again, one of the problems and one of the reasons I haven't shown it before is I have to figure a way to accurately put down something that I can get back to. In other words, just using knobs is, does not really give you the accuracy, and the scope I have isn't really good enough to give me the exact frequencies that I'm hitting here. So I figured out other ways of doing it in which I'll incorporate in my pulse system. There's quite a lot of people watching the site now, which I'm really energized over with that. Get considerable amount of email, so if you don't get answered immediately, please understand that. And of course, I've gotten a lot of real not sociable mail as well. For some reason, there's a lot of people who think I've built this stuff for them. Uh, actually, that's not entirely true. Here's another view of the miniature Aaron cell. Again, this is four plates. There is no neutral plate in here at all. The reason this is working is because, partially because of the pulse. 
and partially because of the configuration. That means the lye, which is definitely in here, there's lye in the water, it's distilled water. One thing I believe we can look at as a true fact, and that is since I've been using the lye, there is no more sludge. The sludge is gone. Matter of fact, even the yellow is out on this one. This one. There's just no sign of it. Another thing you should note is I'm using test clips there. They're, they're tin. So eventually, as they will rust, but still it's not affecting the water. So all the ideas that we had about the sludge in the water were wrong, or at least my ideas were. It all came from the impurities in the tap water. Now, if we use straight tap water here, we're going to see a lot of hydrogen because of the impurities. But we can't operate it that way. The only way we're going to be able to use tap water in the system is to filter it. I know I'll get a lot of emails saying that Meyer should not use electrolyte. I don't know whether that's true or not. It may be true. It may be not. I'm using electrolyte or lye until I can prove it otherwise or until I can make it produce like this otherwise. You'll also note that on the site a lot of Chit chat has disappeared on the comment side. I've cracked down a lot on that. I will not allow chat between commenters. I've never done that before. I let some get through, but now I'm clamping down on it. This site is not an open site. If you want to talk to others about my Findings, that's fine. Do it on another site. This site is not open. Anybody who wants to talk to me through the comments, that's fine. You can talk to me. If you want to talk to somebody else or talk at somebody else's comments, you have to do that on another site, not this site. As you can see, the system seems to be working very well. This again is a pulse system. I'm using lye. And this is the beginning.